Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I am going to explain about ovary and anther culture for haploid plant production. Haploids, these are sporophyte of higher plants with gametophytic chromosome constitution. In nature, they arise as a result of parthenogenesis and these plants rarely produce characteristics of a male parent. In vitro techniques for haploid production. Gynogenesis, production of haploid individual by development of unfertilized egg cells as a result of delayed pollination. Whereas in case of ovule androgenesis, the development of egg cells containing the male nucleus, here the egg cell nucleus is inactivated. Genome elimination by distant, distant hybridization arising at the intergeneric and interspecific cross due to selective elimination of one of the parent genome during the process of development after fertilization. Consequently, the embryo formed with only one genome and the plant arise from such embryo is expected to be haploid. Chemical treatments Chloramphenicol and uh, parafluorophenyl aniline may induce chromosomal elimination in somatic cells or tissue give rise to haploid. The treatment with toluene blue colchicine nitric oxide, nitrous oxide may produce similar result. Temperature shock, high or low temperature treatment may helps in induction of haploids. Irradiation effect, X-ray or UV light reportedly induce the breakage in chromosome result in their elimination, subsequently development of haploids. Gynogenesis, gynogenesis is the culture of unfertilized female gametophyte that is ovule or ovary. This method is used in plant do not respond to androgenic method. There is a problem with regenerating albumin, uh, albino plant from anther culture or the donor plant are made sterile. Gynogenesis is usually less efficient than androgenesis used in plant family that do not respond to androgenesis like uh, liliaceae and composite. So what are the protocol? First we have to select the healthy plant, uh, parent plant, check the ovary or ovule developmental stage by history, select appropriate flower bud and surface sterilize, inoculation of ovary or ovule in suitable medium, incubation of ovary or ovule into the culture, regeneration of callus embryo, then haploid plant recovery. Androgenesis. Androgenesis is defined as a process of embryo development from male gametophyte or microspore or an anther. With the frequent regeneration of haploid or double haploid plant from these cells. For this uh, androgenesis process, the protocol is, will be that first we have to select the parent plant. From that selected parent plant, later we have to select the flower bird. After selection, microspore development stage was determined either by DAPI staining or shift shifts reagent or by acetocarmine or acetoarsin staining. Later on the surface sterilization of the flower bird will be done. Then this surface sterilized flower bird uh, from this uh, flower bird um, the isolation of anther and microspore from the bird will be done. After that inoculation of the anther on appropriate medium was uh, done. Then later regeneration and recovery of the plant will be seen. Factors influencing anther culture. Genotype of the donor plant. Selectively highly responsive genotype will be selected. Then it will be better. Then even we can avoid recalcitrant system. Anther wall formation. An extract from anthers stimulate the pollen embryo development. Glutamine alone or in combination with serine and uh, myoinositol could replace anther wall formation. Culture medium and anther density vary with genotype. Solanaceous plant in compatible nutrient medium of niche or MS medium are used. Uh, whereas uh, the iron is critical for development of uh, 3 to 4 week old pollen embryo. 
in case of non selenaceous plant medium supplemented with adjuvant like yeast extract casein hydrolysate coconut milk either alone or in various combinations are required some species require auxin or cytokine whereas in case of selenaceous species occur occurs on basal medium sucrose as long as tissue is unable to photosynthesize uh, whereas in case of medium density it should be like 3000 pollen per ml of culture medium stages of pollen development androgenesis occur when the microspore or the pollen is induced to shift from gametophytic pathway to sporophytic pathway the shift from a uh, shift may occur prior to division of microspore that form the binucleated pro- pollen grain or after microspore mitosis post mitotic wherein vegetative or generative cell both divide to undergo androgenesis effect of temperature and light temperature shock enhance the induction frequency of microspore androgenesis temperature shock at 3 to 5 degree for 72 hours approximately is required but usually maintained at 22 degree centigrade some grow best in dark condition some in both varies between species physiological status of the plant anther taken from the plant grown under short day that is about 8 hours of light period conditions and high uh, light intensity regimes show relatively better response than a long day that is about 16 hour per 16 hour of daylight per day donor plant at the same light intensity differentiation of pollen into gametophytic or sporophytic tissue morphologically it will be like haploid yield is low although there are thousands of pollen only a small portion of develop small portion develop into haploid such pollen appears smaller and stain less well than most pollen dense to develop into male gametophyte such pollen are described as embryogenic physiological the pollen mother cell is diploid and has determined structure but undergo cell reorganization the determination into either or androgenic or embryogenic grain is a function of differentiation differential gene activity elaborate endoplasmic reticulum abundance of ribosome normal mitochondrial gametophytic pollen quiescent uh, or repression of organelle in microscope microspore or embryogenic pollen irradiation effect irradiation like gamma irradiation of young flower bud seems to enhance the culture efficiency direct irradiation has detrimental effect as anther wall appear to have promote effect on promotory effect on irradiated intact anther dihaploidization of haploid plant haploid from uh, anther or ovule grow normally under in vitro condition up to the flowering stage but viable gametes are not formed due to presence of only one set of chromosome only mechanism of perpetuating haploid is by duplicating the chromosome complement to obtain homologous diploid immersion of a very young haploid in filtered sterilized solution of colchicine that is about 0.4% for 2 to 4 days and transferred to a culture medium then this way i mean in this way the dihaploidization of the haploid plant will be done application of haploids in plant breeding it helps in solving the problem in genetic studies gene action are readily manifested due to single allelic dose present in chromosome of an entire genome good candidate for induction of mutation and various gene manipulation anther of haploid progeny are excellent plant breeding material for rising pollen derived homozygous plant that is double haploid screening mutant with resistant to disease is relatively easier in haploids transfer of desired allele aligned gene chromosome is easier in haploids as these plants have chromosomal instability 
pollen embryo being haploid or useful tool for genetic transformation mm, on diploidization uh, express uh, express recombinant transgene homozygously problem associated with haploid production often anther fail to grow in vitro initially growth is followed by abortion of embryos tissue or callus developing from the anther generally comprises chimeras formation of albinos in anther callus is common selective cell division must take place to avoid formation of diploid or polyploid tissue not economically viable due to low sucrose rate doubling of haploid is time consuming and does not always result in the uh, homozygosity thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you